You know, we handle roughly about 20 uh, to 22 percent of the, the overall volume in New York of containerized cargo. We've committed to, to invest, you know, $500 million in upgrading the facility over the course of um, the next 20 plus years. It, it consists of two, two main principles, if you will, right? There's, there's the infrastructure, which involves building a new gate, uh, birth redevelopment, uh, equipment upgrades, and then there's also multiple technology components as we continue to modernize the facility. Uh, and N4, and how N4 plays a role is N4 is essentially the foundation um, that we needed uh, to upgrade. But as far as the complexity, how it was managed, how the actual rollout went, uh, we, we really did not miss a beat. We made a lot of, of key decisions leading up to go live to, to help better prepare ourselves for that, um, including how we manage the business, how we do the testing. Um, but it, it went very well and, and, and literally within, uh, I think, two weeks of the go live, we actually set uh, weekly vessel lift records. So it, it went very well. Normally in New York, it's a seasonal volume dip. So that normally would be a good time for a go live where you have a little less of a, of a peak period. You know, as it turns out, it was not like that. We had uh, unexpected volume surges uh, during that January, February period. So uh, the system and, and everything around it was tested very quickly. And, you know, within a couple of, a couple of weeks of go live, um, you know, we, we set weekly vessels, uh, vessel lifts handled uh, for both on the vessel moves and the rail lifts. So both major components of the operation um, set records. As things move forward with just the way the supply chain is changing from a you know, brick and mortar concept into some, you know, something much different, uh, we, we think that that is, is already critical now and will continue to have more significance you know, as the months and, and years pass. It's, it's essential. Collaboration can help improve the container flow by providing visibility and real-time decision-making so that containers, uh, containers and the overall business are able to, to be more efficient and to provide a service that is not necessarily there right now.